Accessorizing your room is like putting icing on a cake. Although finding home accessories might be a breeze for some of you, but figuring out what to do with them is another story. Today I will be sharing how you can accessorize your home on a budget. The trick to giving your home that lived-in look is to add organic elements with touches of glam to achieve an eclectic look. In case you're new to my channel, the Hubster and I created this built-in cabinetry by taking upper kitchen cabinets and stacking them on top of one another and of course it's secured to the wall. Initially I wanted open shelving that I love but I knew one day I would add a few of the doors back. For added drama, we cut the center of the doors and I took a trip to Lowe's Home Improvement Store and they cut plexiglass to fit into the opening and then I added waterproof silicone to adhere to the lightweight glass to the door and let it dry overnight. I must admit the doors look fabulous the way it is that you see here, but I needed more drama and to achieve an overlay look without the overlay price, I cut pieces of trim to place inside the groove of the door where the previous panel was. The Hubster added these decorative gold knobs that complement my bottom door hardware and gold accessories. Celebrate the return of warm weather by adding fresh flowers. It brings life and energy into any space. Most grocery stores sell them at reasonable prices, but if that's not in your budget, there's another alternative. Create your own arrangement. Michael have a beautiful selection of pots for $10. Take advantage of their coupons and stack it with your military discount. You can really save. And these two vases were flea market finds for only a dollar each. I spray painted them and added faux flowers that you can get from Michael's stores at a reasonable price. Again, adding thrifted containers with a few florals softens the look with these Mercury candle holders I got from, you guessed it, Home Goods Clearance Aisle. Many of you may know that I am one of American Signature Furniture's Style Insider and I've shared tons of their furniture in my home and I will leave a link down below in case you guys want to see some up close pieces. This coffee table is from American Signature and this is how it was styled over the holidays and this is how it's currently styled all ready for spring and I've used a variety of trays to keep my accessories corralled and layered other pieces like my candle holders from at home stores and the candles are from home goods and I got them on clearance a pack of six for four dollars so my tip is to always always stop at the clearance section first you never know what's waiting for you another tip for you is to try and purchase items that have double duty use Ginger jars are my favorite, you guys all know that, but they're not only beautiful, but you can use them as a vase or a cookie jar or whatever you want. And if you're looking for beautiful, unique ginger jars, try Home Goods first because no one, I mean, no one can beat their prices. This jar I spied on the internet for $179. It's the same exact one I got from Home Goods for $39.99. Everything in this tray has function and style and everything was under $20. This $12 cloche was a Habitat Restore find and the coral holder, I've had it for years and it was $3. I've shared before that I put essential oils in the sea salt and when the candle heats up, a fresh aroma releases. You can put anything you want in a gold box and I love to display my marble and gold coasters. And the other box I use for fun have pink matches to light my candle and the matches are by Ray Dunn and they come in this mason jar for only $5 at TJ Maxx. More double duty decor, this marble bowl has to be one of my favorites because it's beautiful and it can serve as a fruit or a vegetable bowl. But the best thing about this bowl, I only paid $9 for it, regular price, $39.99. And I added this hydrangea floral mat inside the bowl and you can get them from Michaels as well. And I cut the mat the shape of the bowl and placed the mat inside. It's easy to remove when I want to use the bowl for something else. Over the years, you've heard me preach about spray painting items, even if the color isn't your style. That's the case with this vase. It was $14.99 and it's from Ross Stores. I have a pair. One of them started to tarnish more than the other, so I decided to paint them for a nice pop of color. This sofa table was replaced with a white and gold table that I got from Ross Stores for only $49. The shimmer of gold adds a little sparkle to the back of the sofa. This table used to be behind my desk in my home office. In case you missed the updated tour, I'll link that video in my description box. 
Grouping all three ginger jars together works beautifully, although they're different sizes, but they all have similar shape. The full cherry blossom branches are from Pier 1, and they were added to the vase along with faux moss and donkey tails. Whether it's a plant, real or faux, it brings energy into the space. Ultimately, do whatever that makes you happy. On the sofa, I had to add a little whimsy, my all-time favorite pillow for Easter. It reminds me of me and the Hubster, and I got the pillow last Easter for $24.99 at HomeGoods. It's just the right amount of Easter bling without going overboard. So I hope you all have enjoyed my first spring decor video for this year. More will be on the way, and I want to thank you all for watching.